Hi, welcome to the National Critics Choice Online News. And today we have Mr. William Wongso, uh, who is a well-known uh, food critic uh, TV host uh, in Indonesia. Uh, Mr. William, please uh, tell us more about the food scene in, in Indonesia and what is the future for street food? I think it's it's a lot of uh, a lot of misinterpret common misinterpret about Indonesian food. We don't have Indonesian food in Indonesia. What we have is uh, regional cooking. Despite the uh, beyond the regional cooking, there are street food or street vendors. And uh, street vendors in mean in Indonesia is like a street food. It's what they call it kaki lima. Kaki lima means five legs. So anything they are fastest. They are not two legs vendor. They are five legs. So anything happen, the police come. They can run faster. So this is the term for kaki lima. Pedagang kaki lima is the, the five leg vendor or food street vendor. Street food vendors. Above the food street, they call warung. At least they have a chef, and then little restaurant. But uh, it's very hard to describe individually, regionally, unless you uh, have experience to come to Indonesia to savor. But there are few places like Jakarta. They are representation of many regional cooking in the form of street food or barong or some small restaurant. And there are city like Medan in North Sumatra is also another representation of the city where it has very diverse uh, street food or uh, specialty food place. What is the definition of Indonesian food today? There's no uh, I don't. I, I can't say any definition uh, today. Indonesian food today is is still in the process to be known to the world. A lot of uh, things, a lot of good things, is still unknown to the world. The most the most popular regional cooking is known all over the archipelago. is called nasi padang. So it's uh, originally from Western Sumatra because these people are very entrepreneur. They uh, they spread over where they live and they open restaurant. And the unique of nasi padang is that some Singaporean knows it's uh, it's not cannot be applied in Indonesia because when you sit, everything comes to your table without ordering, and you pay what you eat. And, um, and then they send it back and turn it over for the next customer, which is regular by health reason, it's not allowed in Singapore. If someone has done uh, to follow the rule, a by order of Padang restaurant, no success, uh, the sale will drop. Because the assignment is put everything on the table and we choose to pay what we need. No. What about the uh, the food scene in Indonesia today? What kind of challenges um, does the uh, the population face? Do they do they think that they're going to face the extinction of of a street food culture? I think in a, in a, in a some cosmopolitan city, I think they yes they're being pushed away because the land cost is very hard. And uh, but my major task now is just to how to encourage the younger generation will be cook or chef to pursue the passion on learning on this uh, our flavor or tradition. This is very important. It's not easy job. Is there any possibility that where the people of Indonesia and, and someone like yourself who is influential are able to uh, you know, uh, lead a, um, a some kind of cause uh, through the government of Indonesia to subsidize uh, land use so that so that you know uh, future entrepreneurs could uh, afford to pay rents in in upscale towns? Yes or no? Yes or no? But uh, there's a, there's some instant of a time of uh, entrepreneurship that uh, like Ivan Chandra brought the street food to the mall 
can organize, bring them, give them the discipline. It's a hardship for many, many vendors when there's no work without rules. But now, eventually, there are some establishments. They, they want to bring street food to the mall, but they have to follow the rules. But on the other way, I just, today, I managed to take uh, one of the directors uh, from Indonesian Ministry of Tourism to visit CIA. Surprise is a surprise that uh, in CIA, where in Singapore, there's no any teaching of Indonesian food, which is very sad for him. But we will work closely with CIA in the near future that we can also giving a good education and knowledge taste of this heritage, our heritage. Besides, in Indonesia itself, it's also uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, full of commitment to all the uh, uh, hospitality school or academy to really want to uh, pursue to put strongly uh, Indonesian curriculum, Indonesian culinary curriculum in their, in their general curriculum because at the moment they don't have. What's next for you, Mr. Williams? I, I, I try to, I try to uh, motivate. I try to give, uh, show the goal for all the young sir by I'm involved in food diplomacy. So uh, I'm inviting some energetic uh, youngster want to learn Indonesian cooking and be my team that we can cook abroad as a pride of Indonesia. And then um, on the other hand, through those uh, activities, I hope that there are more and more youngsters want to take part to, uh, to learn and practice a good traditional Indonesian cooking. Well, once again, Mr. William Wonso, thank you for joining us here at the Next Best Choice. And uh, till then, I'm Robin Steinberg. Thank you for joining me. And we'll see you in the next episode.